Good afternoon, everybody. Uneducated Economist here. Thought I'd give you guys a real quick lumber update. Um, so those of you who don't know or haven't been following my channel, I follow lumber really close. It's kind of an indicator of where we are in the new construction industry. And lumber prices have just gone through the floor. They uh, they dropped out from 650 per thousand all the way down to 300 per thousand. So there's been a good 50% drop inside of lumber future prices since last year. And once these prices had hit down around 300 per thousand, mills all over the British Columbia area started announcing uh, curtailments and closures, uh, saying that these uh, 300 per thousand mark is just far too low for them to be profitable. And a lot of these mills are now operating in the red. So when I looked today, we saw lumber prices trading around 327 per thousand this morning. And before I started the video, they were up around 350 per thousand. So there's been like a three, four, 5% move just even in today's uh, pricing, let alone throughout the rest of the week. So there's a lot of volatility taking place in the lumber future prices right now. So when the mills announced their curtailments and the closures, this is gonna tighten up inventory causing the prices to go up. So again, we're seeing the prices here around 327, 350 per thousand. This is way under what they were trading for last year at the 650 per thousand. And I went to our lead salesman. I said, hey man, we're running low on our two by four, two by six. When's the next random link truck's coming in? He said he didn't know. I said, what do you mean you don't know? And I said, you got them on order, right? He says, yeah, we got them on order. We've talked with the mills, but we can't tell you when we're gonna get any. In fact, we ended up having to order some two by four from a mill that we have never even heard of before or never used. So we're gonna see what that, what that lumber looks like when it gets in. But yeah, it, it certainly appears that the inventory is tightening up. The volatility is starting to come to the prices, but we haven't seen that increase like I would expect from all these mill closures taking place. Anyway, thought I'd give you guys that bit of an update, uneducated economist. You guys let me know.